to get progress. They don't want our children to stay with their parents and grow. They want to take the children and kill the parents so that the children will grow as a slave and be paying tax. They don't even know who owe the tax. Please, my husband worked to pay the tax in this country. Why would they do this to me and my husband? Why would they come into my family? Look at today my household has been scattered just because Germany want to manifest themselves before the end. Buari, Buari, Ajiamauna get up. It's better you people kill the person in inside Kaduna, even in, in Daura. It's better they die in Daura than they kill them here in Germany. It's better they die in Africa than they kill them here in Europe. You people should get up. The entire African leadership, get up. Because it's not only me that take my children. For my children, they are going to give it to me. Do you know why? Because I am alive. All my sisters that die, when why they are we children, so they don't give them again. Why? Because they die. You wouldn't even know which of them is the children, which of them belongs to them. And every day they claim that they are doing favor to us. What favor? What favor? They say they give you uh, children money to eat. Oh, no, no, no. That will not be children money, not killing money. The money they give to my brothers and my sisters is the same money they fought about and they will still die inside. Things are moving in Germany. Things are moving in Europe, not just Germany. I came in to live into Italy with more than three, uh, with more than three boats, but only one boat entered Italy and the rest boat was killed. And then all of them that we entered together, there were 300 and 325 people. Today, I am not sure if they are up to 100 people that left behind alive. What is killing them? They die inside the house. What is killing them? It's better we go back home and go and climb our mango tree and pluck it there and eat it and have peace. Than a country there is no mango tree, there is no orange tree, including no papa. And they want us to accept that the life is really getting well. Everything you do is frustrated to them. They see our children like the people who are coming to, to take their things from them. And then you see how they empty my children's room. They take my children into one place they call um, uh, Kinder Aim. They will prison the children there and they will cry like a rat. They will cry from their link bodies. I have a lot of video about my children. When I went there and I decided not to go there again. Because when you go there, your child want to go home with you. The children want to follow you and go home. They tell the child no. They even tell you, you, you have no rights. You have no rights to discuss with the child why they are not going. You have right only to go and talk with them. When they have the meeting day, they will call you. Or when they when they gather together in the court, the, the, the judge will send you a letter. I carry two lawyers, two good lawyers my husband carried. Yet they have not bring my children. I have gone many, many offices. My mother sent me to go to the human rights office in Berlin. I went there. When I went there, they told me that they have never seen black person. They have never seen black person coming there before to ask of their children. I asked how would they come? How would they come when the, 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 the parents are all dead? How would they come when the mother is dead and the father cannot explain he is the one who poisoned his wife? He is not the one. How will you come back from the workplace and help your wife is dead? And then how will you explain? They will now say you are the one that killed your wife. And then how will you come out of it? You are direct in prison. Where are the children? That one, June 12th. They know they remember them again. What did they happen? Now, so with the key Germanies or Europa for Africa, make una get up. They say maybe then things say, eh, maybe then things say I go do politics with them. Now I make them, they keep me for you. Now I make them, they give me deadly tablet. They give you deadly tablet to die inside the house. And when you are not dead, they decided to plan another plan C or plan B. They call it a tragedy. They said they do, um, what was
the first case the lawyer says that they come here and do propaganda that they come to my house on the 8th of May to do propaganda I want all the comment to send to Angela Merkel because she is the leadership she is the one who give them the deadly chemical she is the one who tell them to open the companies of the tablet you know me I know they send you now I know see you now they see me What have we done as a race? Children, come. 
back to Nigeria. Now you go know who come from Kotonu. You go to send them go Kotonu. That made them the kid them for here. Mm. Germany is eating African people body. And tell you they are because they are sick. Who sick? They are not sick. You see the ones that deport them. Those are the ones that are sick. The one they give papers and begin to struggle you as in, they will tell you that uh, your paper is not here, your paper is not there. When I come to this country, I never tell them to give me paper, I never beg them for this orphan title, I never beg them for this, so they gave to me from their church mind. From their church mind, they said they gave to me because they want to pity you, because oh. they brought you from Libya, mm -hmm. and they want you to stay in the country. That's why they want you to get the paper and then walk. I have all their papers. I do not get anything wrongly from their part, but as they taking my children, I will not accept it. Please, please, my brothers and my sisters, get up. Please, because I am alive, I can, I speak it because I am alive. Mm. If I was to be killed, you wouldn't have seen me speaking about my children. That means by this time, they would not prison my husband. Or they would tell us, I ain't kill me. Because I saw that they take Duam. Mm. One of my Ghana, Aouza brother, we marry a Somalia girl, Ifu, she was killed the last year, and nobody know what killed her. Nobody know how she died inside the house, but the husband is suffering in the prison for it. But the husband is not the one killing her. It's the tablet they gave to her to take. It's the one that killed her. Oh, the tablet, I have it. I have it at home with me. When I take a tablet in 2014, you see me cough like Malu. I go, oh, boo, oh, boo. when you cough, blood will come out from your nose and your mouth, and your eyeball will be red. When you go back to the doctor and tell him that uh, you are coughing, blood, oh, Jesus he tells you Christ. it's a side effect. What have we done wrong? That because of uh, you have uh, a black rest you have wrong. A HIV, well, you I, have I will an suffer. iron problem, and that is In why you need to take the tablet, country, and why you are coughing, blood land. is no it's normal to cough for blood. When I was in the school, my teacher says, when blood come out of your body, that means you have inner problem. And they tell you that uh, it's not like that. Mm. And you tell the doctor, okay, I want to go for a scan. That is when you will see the doctor turning you from this uh, month oh, to next month, to upper month. Before you know, he turned it into one year. And tell you he go for Ulop. When he come back from Ulop, he will sign a paper for you to go for checkup so so place. And before that time, maybe you say you don't tire to go there, go meet them. Mm -hmm. Now you not go even go by yourself again. We all must get up. Things is happening in Europe. I am a testified, I see it koro koro, how a policeman bring deadly chemical from the side trouser, from the side after the kneel, from the side, policemen, not women, no. policemen, they are moving with their wives, not their friends or their wives. When the policeman is uh, looking after the policeman Jesus. that comes to give me deadly chemical, are uh, the same policemen who do this document for me. I meet them in the foreign office when I went to do my document. I knew them very well. They always collect my 98 euro. So I knew them more than like tomorrow is today. I knew them like my backhand. <laughs> please, please, Nigerians, please, the in short, Africans, you have more. You, you are the one that is losing. You lose everything. Being an African leadership, and you are not the one killing your people. You are losing. In short, you have lost everything. It's better you kill it than another kill it for you. Mm -hmm. My father used to say, it's better I, I eat my thing by myself than another sacrifice it for himself. Mm -hmm. How can you people watch these people killing us? When they want to come and kill you, they will wait. They will do something. They will do something to trigger you to talk. Mm. They have done too much. They seized my children's passport. This oh. little children's passport since 2017 December God. ending. God. 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 And they have been holding all the passport by themselves. Oh. Because of the passport, they went to the kindergarten to cut.
cut off my daughter's head. You are holding my Nigerian passport, my children Nigerian passport, because you know they want to go back to Africa. You don't want them to go back Hello, to Africa. Hello, viewers. Um, I'm very so moved by this video. Can be easy for I, you to use. I'm moved so by this video. Though I didn't start from beginning to go online with this video. Was, but uh, was, uh, I'm here uh, to uh, advise uh, all parents. All parents. Let us be very careful in our family, especially in our you family. If you listen to this verse, don't think if you want to be a single mother, a single father, or they want to take your children away from you, you are going to live a better life and make money. You are making problems, you are making disease, you are making sickness, you are making death. Listen, listen, listen. We must be very careful. Our children are precious to us. We don't want to lose it to any person. Be very careful with your husband. Be very careful with your family. Be very careful what you do. Because if you any mistake, slight mistake between you and the children, between you and your husband, between you and your wife, the children will be down. Let us be very, very careful. Let us be very, very careful. We are not safe in our country. We are not safe any other place we are not safe 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 do not allow anything to destroy your joy i was really passionate about this video when i was watching it it was really painful to my side let us be very careful in what we do to protect our home to protect our home a foreigner is a foreigner no matter your nationality no matter whom you are no matter what you have once you are a foreigner you are a foreigner you are a foreigner we are being hated in the whole world we are hated in our own country we are hated even when we run out of our country so we need to be very careful especially in your home to protect yourself protect your family protect your children it's not easy to lose one child. It's not easy to lose all your family. When you lose them, you'll be frustrated. Some will even die, like what she was saying. Let her be very careful. Let her be very careful. And finally, find a way to make peace with God. Live with God. Find a living church where you go and worship. Because a family that lives together, prays together. So that when the devil is trying to come to bring his tricks to attack the family, then you can be able to withstand that challenge, that temptation. And when you overcome it through the word of God, you can always live in peace with your family. Don't go for money. Go for peace. The money you think they will give you when you become a single mother. The money you think they will give you when you become a single father. The money you think they will give you when you lose your children, they will give you just, is just nonsense. Peace and joy and happiness is better than whatever material thing you may acquire. Let us be very careful to protect our children not to be taken away from any, from, to, to anywhere. What is happening in Germany, in everywhere, is happening in every Europe, Europe, European world. When there's any mistake between you and your family, between you and your children, their target is to take those children from you. And if you don't have that faith and strong enough, you'll be frustrated. You'll be depressed before you know it. Like what he's saying, they will give you injection. They will drug you as somebody who has the mentally disease or disorder. Before you know it, that person is gone. And your children, you will not see them again. So start to make peace in your home. Do not wait until when it is too late. It depends on you and your family. Try to find every little hole that will bring the government, the social, into your family. And close it up completely. Close it up completely. Any little hole you know that can bring social to your family, close it up completely. People have suffered a lot because of a single mistake they have done in their family. And their children were taken away from them. And today, 
they have no peace they are frustrated they don't plan well they don't know what to do again i know many of them like that so my dear children my dear brother and sisters who is doing this video be very careful in our life i think i will leave you with this i just feel like I don't know what you have done. I will leave you with this. I will leave you with this. If you want to share, share to your friends. If you don't want to share, it's still well as long as you have heard. Be careful. Let all of us be careful, including me, all of us. We are in a foreign land with a foreign law. We are in a foreign land where we have been look a slave because of what have happened 100 years ago we are still suffering don't think you are enjoying anything here you are enjoying nothing may god bless us god bless you try and be in peace with your family and how can that be how can that happen you need peace to have peace you need peace to have peace and where is our peace our peace is in worshiping god our peace is choosing our lord jesus christ as our lord and personal savior that is where you can find most peace so that we can be able to overcome the plans of the enemy so that we can be able to live peaceful and happy with the little we have because we need each other in our family we don't want to lose anyone we don't want to lose anybody to anything so god bless you and this is just a word of encouragement what happened to her have been happening to people what happened to her may happen to any one of us today but if we can learn from the mistake of others i think we cannot fall a victim we cannot fall a victim let us learn how to learn from other people's mistake so that we cannot be a victim of the same mistake look at the way this lady is shouting talking for hours sweating in this cold you will know how serious it is maybe before he goes through all these things now he may have something like blood pressure or any other thing which may not be joy again but prevention as we say is better than cure let us try to prevent let us try to prevent prevention is better than cure than crying than shouting than doing this i don't know what happened when they took her children though many thousands have been in this shoe we don't know what they have done but let us try and prevent and close every loophole that we give the government access to come to your family to take your wife away to ask you to leave your husband or to take your children away i'm telling you brother if you don't have heart you will suffer for the rest of your life even before the case will be put maybe in any form Key point. The key point. What is going around is not normal. Oh God. My Somalia sister, she have only. Oh God. Um, I don't know how they kill. Uh, they call these people oh when somebody God. makes has been kicking himself like uh, oh it's not. God. It's not imbecile. Oh it's not. It's not oh always. God. It's just maybe oh once God. in one year she do it, but she take tablet three times a day. Three times a day. She take in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Now she us. is no longer alive. God help us. We are even looking for how to get their husband. Eh? And uh, 
few years, some people say they arrest the guy and take him out. Since then, nobody know where the guy is. The girl was from Somalia. The husband was from Ghana, Alza. So where are they keeping them? Where is the girl? They tell you they only see the girl, uh, they bring the girl with white clothes. They will kill them and cover them white clothes and bring it outside. Or the neighbor will look. Or the Russia women, the Russia papa, all those old people, all the Turkish, all the Iran, the Syria, they are all looking new. They want to see the dead body of Africans. If Europa want to go to war with Africa, they should be ready not to be killing us inside the house with policemen. What Nigeria Lokba cannot do is what the German police is doing. They said they don't do it in the city, they do it in the village. What do you talk about village? Is it because you are from village? That is the reason you have to carry your masquerade and go and kill innocent children inside the house. If Buku Aram walk on the street and shoot people, they are crying. It's better for me. I even like it. It's better than a policeman wearing his clothes, leaving his family, leaving his own family case, coming after you just because uh, the doctor who have been killing you has been giving you deadly tablet. You are not dead. Nothing happened to you rather than the you vomiting blood. Do you know 2015, the doctor even scared me by himself i was vomiting blood and then my husband got very scared and said how can you vomit blood with pregnancy it could affect the baby we went to him then my son wisdom was about uh, one year then we went to him he, when he see me vomiting blood coughing it and my baby in my tummy would do hook, hook. he was even scared to look at me he said he doesn't know why you I have to go for hospital and and check if the baby is fine. I told him I know my baby is fine. I want to know why am I vomiting blood? Me when not they sick. How can I vomit blood? So Germany came here to murder me on the 8th of May. They, they, they want to say, they said it's because you complain in the local government. You have no right to go and complain in the local government. And that is the same local government you go to pay the children a, a kinder, a, a kinder betrachtum, the children kinder mitak essen, the children kinder a, a flustuk. You pay all of them there. But when they do calamity, when they do barbaric, not calamity, barbaric to you, they don't want you to come there. Because the woman says to me in the kindergarten on the 2nd of May that do this African bushy, do this Duncan Africa. Is that the groom who had my talk to her and Wieso had to my talk to copper selesum gebaut, was gets? Wenn du Haare suche, schneide weg meine Haare. Du kannst meine Kopf wegschmeißen. Was geht mit Kindern? Oh, okay. Ihr habt gesagt, dass die Kinder ist euer Augen. God bless you. Um, every one of us, I pray that um, God give us the wisdom, the knowledge, to be able to design what is strong and what is good, and be able to be at peace with the Lord and be at peace with our family. May God bless you, those that are watching. May God bless you for those who want to hear or who want to see the video after this. May we be able to be in Christ so that we can over, always overcome every temptation that comes on our way. So that joy and peace and happiness will flow in our life. God bless you and take care. Bye.